What's up guys? Lomez here with a dirty face. So you can tell I was working. Uh, we got the Miami powder shop truck in phase two. Excited to uh, get going on this thing and excited to show you guys what we're doing. But you guys won't see that till it's done. But I wanted to point out a couple of the custom uh, components and parts that got fabricated when I built this truck last year in my driveway, in the rain, in the heat. Um, but yeah, these are some of the, uh, the things that I hand fabricated on this build. The uh, air management cross member slash tray, um, that is removable, it bolts in, but it houses two Viair 485s, the AccuAir ECU, and the AccuAir endo tank. So I wanted to come up with a way to compactly and neatly, cleanly mount all the air ride and air management components and just something different. Everybody uh, kind of does the same thing. You see a lot of the same parts on builds and I take pride in making stuff unique, different, custom to, uh, to make for a, a real 100% custom build. That is an infamous wishbone, yes. Um, so that's a bridge, tying the two notches together, made that. The shock mounts were machined by me. Those are uh, internally threaded standoffs with a aluminum cap that's got countersunk hardware. Uh, the behind the axle bag brackets and setup, all made by me. Um, really makes this thing look different. A lot of times you go to truck shows and everybody's got the same parts. So all the trucks kind of look the same, just a different color. Speaking of color, that's what really set this truck off. Raul at Miami Powder, the king of friggin' powder coating, just killed it, man. Killed it. Fuel tank, wishbone, drive shaft, rear end, cross members, Brake calipers, two-tone. Lots of details, man. I love this damn truck, and I'm anxious to uh, show you guys what we're working on. But you'll see that soon enough. Have a good one.